Ah, Valentine's Day, amore is in the air. A few years ago, ING Direct did a survey asking which words come to mind if you went out on a blind date with someone described as frugal. More than a quarter of the people polled chose the word stingy. 15% picked boring, and to my utter shock, a mere 3.7% said being frugal was sexy. <laughs> Stay cheap. Hey, I'm Jeff Yeager, the ultimate cheapskate and host of The Cheap Life. What? Being frugal isn't sexy? Nobody told me. Ooh. How is this not sexy? <sighs> My wife and I have been married for almost 30 years, or as Denise says, <laughs> almost three good years. Not all at once, mind you. The truth is, we're a match made in cheapskate heaven. When we were first dating, one of the most romantic nights we had was making homemade ice cream together. For just the cost of a bag of groceries, we spent the entire evening sitting on the back porch at sunset, taking turns at the crank and getting to know each other. The more we churned, the more we laughed. Yep, there are plenty of romantic ways to say amore for a lesse. For example, we'd love it if you'd like this video. Well, instead of expensive lobster tails and steaks in a restaurant, try making this mock surf and turf at home. Just use cod or another meaty whitefish and specially seasoned ground beef wrapped in bacon. Click here to get my recipe. You know, it's okay to serve a romantic meal with inexpensive champagne too, but go the extra mile and relabel the bottle with a customized lovey-dovey label. Go not but cheap. Take a bike ride or hand-in-hand -hand stroll with your honey dumpling in a local park. I promise both your heart and your heart throb will enjoy it more. It's time for a cheapskate shout out. Our director extraordinaire, Chris, loves surprising his honey with romantic adventures like hot air balloon rides or a painting class. He scours the web for great deals all year long so he can woo and delight without breaking the bank. Romantic gifts don't need to cost a lot either. You can even find some nice things at the dollar store, like these nifty but thrifty gifts, and even this silk rose. Hey, speaking of roses, instead of buying an overpriced bouquet of cut roses, give her a gift certificate for a rose bush to plant in the garden in the springtime. It'll cost about the same, but provide a lifetime of love and bloom. You'll get major brownie points if you offer, and remember, to help plant it in the spring. Some of the most memorable gifts are simple ones you make yourself, like this wooden pin I carved for Denise the first Valentine's Day we were married. I'd secretly saved a piece of wood from our Christmas tree the December before. I used it to make her this pin. She still kisses me every time she wears it. And if you're really on a tight budget, go the fashionably late route and celebrate Valentine's Day with your sweetie pie on the 15th or 16th. Chocolates will be marked down to half price. There won't be any waiting line at your favorite restaurant and florists will almost pay you to take the roses off their hands. I'm Jeff Yeager. Stay cheap and stay sexy. I know there are plenty of cash-conscious Casanovas and budget-conscious babes out there. Share your best ideas for cheap dates in the comment section below for a chance to win a $50 gift card. If you like this episode, subscribe to my show. It's free, and I love you for doing it.